In this video, we're going to solve a problem which appeared in the ER 2020 and it's a J advanced problem. Let's go ahead and understand the problem step. So here we have a function a which is defined in the domain 0 to 2 and it's towards the uh, real number. And it is divide, de defined by fx equal to some trigonometric function. Okay. Now here it is given that alpha beta is also belongs to the domain such that fx is greater than 0, right? So basically in this problem, we need to find out a closed interval alpha beta where fx is greater than equal to 0. So therefore, we need to find out the uh, domain of in such a way or the values of x in such a way that fx is greater than 0, right? That's the problem. Let's go ahead and solve it. So now we consider the function. Now also we assume that that theta is equal to pi x minus pi by 4. So therefore pi x is theta plus pi by 4. Now we just compute what is 2 pi x. So that is pi by 2 plus 2 theta. We just multiply it by 2. Hence sine 2 pi x will be sine pi by 2 plus 2 theta. Hence using complementary angle it will be cos 2 theta. Go ahead for the next thing. So here 3 pi x plus pi by 4 will be equal to 3 theta plus 3 pi 4. That's we just multiply that and plus pi by 4, which will be pi plus 3 theta. Hence sine 3 pi x plus pi by 4 will be sine pi plus 3 theta. Hence it will be minus sine 3 theta. Now we just substitute in the uh, given function. Hence it will be reduces to 3 cos 2 theta sine theta plus sine theta and it's a function of theta. Now it is given that the domain of the function fx is 0 to 2. That means x lies between 0 to 2. Hence we consider that that uh, as x lies between 0 to 2 therefore we can identify the domain of the, uh, for theta. Hence it pi x will be lies between 0 to 2 pi and pi x minus pi by 4 or that is the domain of theta is minus pi by 4 to 7 pi by 4. Hence, our function is redefined. Whenever the function is redefined, how we try to simplify because here we have cos 2 theta, sine 3 theta and so on. So we converted everything in sine function. So therefore, we rewrite that sine 3 th x is 3 sine x minus 4 sine cube x. That's the formula. That's identity we'll use. And cos 2 theta, we'll use it as 1 minus 2 sine square theta. So if we use that, right, we'll able to, we'll able to re reduce it, right? So here, first we multiply that 3 sine theta and sine 3 theta cos 2 theta. And uh, for the case of sine 3 theta, we just rewrite the identity. And we now replace cos 2 theta by 1 minus 2 sine square theta. Let's multiply the sine theta in, in for that in uh, middle term. And then if we calculate its became sine theta multiplied by 5 minus 2 sine square theta. So here the calculation, right, it's we have to do, right? And otherwise we are converting it basically all in sine. Why? Because if we convert it everything in sine, okay, you may convert it in cos as well, whatever you can, right? Basically in this kind of problem, our main aim is to convert, right, the function in a simple thing, right? Either in sine or in cos, right? Mostly, mostly uh, sine, right? Now in the case of that sine 3 theta, if you have cos 3 theta, uh, say we will convert it as cos function, right? Because the formula of cos 3x is in cos only. That's the well known thing, right? That's it. Let's go ahead. We observe that for whatever the angle theta, right? Whatever, right? That sine theta is lies between minus 1 to plus 1. Hence, sine square theta will be lies between 0 to 1. And hence, 2 sine square theta will lies between 0 to 2. And therefore, right, as it is lies between 0 to 2, so 5 minus 2 sine square theta will be always greater than equal to 0. It cannot be negative. Because to have a negative, right, that 2 
two sine square theta will be less than 2.5 or greater than, greater than 2.5, right? That is not possible. So as phi minus <coughs> two sine square theta is always greater than or equal to zero. So therefore, if I consider that f x greater than or equal to zero or a theta greater than or equal to zero, that imply that it should be only possible when sine theta is greater than or equal to zero. When sine theta is greater than or equal to zero in the interval uh, minus pi by four to seven pi by four. Why? Because that's the domain or that's the domain for that theta we already decide earlier, right? So that's why that's why we say that it will be only possible if theta lies between zero to pi. Now, as theta belongs to zero to pi, right? So therefore, what is theta? Theta is pi x minus pi by four. So that lies between zero to pi. We add pi by four both sides and then divided by pi, we get that x lies between one by four to five pi by four. And both are having the equal to sign. Fx greater than equal to zero. It is only possible when x lies between 1 by 4 to pi by 4 or in other way x belongs to uh, a close interval 1 by 4 pi by 4 right 1 by 4 to pi by 4. Now consider the set. Now in this case it is given that our set S is such that it contain x belongs to 0 to 2 and fx greater than or equal to 0. It means that S contains those element of x such in the interval 0 to 2 such that fx is greater than or equal to 0. We know that fx greater than or equal to 0 it's only possible if x belongs to the close interval 1 by 4 to pi by 4. So therefore we can say that s is equivalent to a close interval 1 by 4 and pi by 4 and therefore if we compare that given problem we obtain that alpha is equal to 1 by 4 and beta is equal to uh, pi, pi by 4. So therefore, beta minus alpha is equal to obviously 1. And that's why for this particular problem, 1 is the correct answer. And that's it. Hope you understood the problem. Thank you.